Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today, we're tackling a question that many network engineers encounter. How can we effectively parse text using TextFSM when dealing with different text structures? Our viewer is looking to extract information from the show in all command output from two different switches, switch A and switch B, which have slightly different formats. Let's dive into the details and find a solution that works for both switches without creating separate templates. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're gonna to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. To parse the output from different switches using TextFSM, we need to create a flexible template that can handle variations in the text structure. Let's start by examining the outputs from switch A and switch B. The key difference between the two outputs is the presence of the word system in switch A. To accommodate this, we can use a regular expression that allows for optional text. Let's modify our TextFSM template accordingly. In this updated template, we use the regular expression system to match the optional system prefix. This allows the template to successfully parse both switch A and switch B outputs without needing separate templates. Finally, let's test our new TextFSM template with both outputs to ensure it works correctly. You can use a Python script to run the parsing and verify the results. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. To parse text with TextFSM and make the system part optional, you can use a specific regex pattern. This pattern allows for the word system to appear or not before the temperature value. For a practical example, you can visit the demo link provided which offers an explanation of how this regex works. And that's it guys. We've gone through, answered your question, and hopefully you found that solution you're looking for. Guys, if you did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, you need technical help, I'll see ya. Have a good one.